Hi, I'm Tori, a rover at Eltham. Welcome to the special clip for Reconciliation Week. And I'm Ella, a scout at Caroline Springs, and we thank you for stopping by to hear us discuss reconciliation. Each year, National Reconciliation Week is held between May 27 and June 3rd. And you might remember the video our friends made last year to mark the week and give us some simple actions every unit and event could try. If you missed it, it's on YouTube. The theme for this year's National Reconciliation Week is Reconciliation Takes Action, More Than a Word. And as the week reminds us Scouts how we can take action to support Scouting and the wider community continue the important work of reconciliation. As members of Scouting, with our units we can explore how as young people and as groups of young people like our patrols and units can contribute to reconciliation as active participants. But first, some updates from last year's videos. You may have seen an update of the Scout Ceremonies Guide came out at the end of 2020. An acknowledgement of countries have been included. Like this video started with an acknowledgement of country, when does your unit use one? Maybe every opening, maybe at special nights like peak award presentations. Your group will make it work for them, but it's a, it's a great way to live our Scout promise by sh and showing respect. Last year's video showed two members doing an opening with an acknowledgement. It could be good to show your patrol and unit mem and unit leaders. And last year's video told you about our Reconciliation Advisory Committee at Scouts. This group has been working hard, including looking at how exploring First Nations culture could be used in the Special Interest Awards and sharing ideas nationally on a possible reconciliation badge for members of all ages. The team is seeking members of scouting from Aboriginal or Torres Strait Islander background to join. You now the state, state Commissioner of Diversity and Inclusion. But this is 2020, so let's look forward. The theme this year asks for action, so what action can your unit or group take? You could program something now for Term 3 or, or Term 4 that explores local Aboriginal culture. You could look at flying the Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander flags alongside the Australian flag at your hall and events. If you're running a big event or gathering and scouting, you might like to arrange a welcome to country. And just checking who are the traditional custodians of, a, of the land you're about to do an activity on as part of the planning process. For an example, I've applied to attend Vic Jam, so I looked up that where we camp in Elmore is the Tungarang land. And Reconciliation Week is only one of many opportunities as a community we can reflect on the rich Indigenous history and culture in our communities. Consider NIDOC Week, 4th of July 2021 to 11th of July 2021, or International Day of the World's Indigenous Peoples on August 9th, for example. From all of Scouting to Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander communities know that young people are committed to actions, not just words. And to all Scouts, remember we can make a big impact supporting our communities to explore reconciliation on local levels. Let's keep up the work over Reconciliation Week and into the new year. 